hi guys so we're gonna get this started I've already done my foundation and brows I have two separate tutorials on that and I will link it in the description box I don't know why I'm doing my hands but I'll link it in the description box below so we're just gonna kick things off with one eye and I'm using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and it's such a versatile cute palette and I'm just applying steady on my brow bone and it's like a, a rosy champagne kind of color really really pretty and I'm just applying that with a shader brush on my brow bone next I'm going in with melt and I'm using I believe it's called blur if not all the information all the products I'm using will be on my blog as always or in the description box but it'll be on my blog but I'm using this in my crease as my transition color and it's such a gorgeous brown color and it just helps to diffuse the brow bone color a little bit and then I'm going in with this really really inexpensive um, brow pencil from Makeup Academy and I am drawing out my crease line where I want the cut crease to show and then I'm going to blend that out with punk from the Gwen Stefani palette and I'm just using a pencil brush to um, blur out that line make it nice and soft and really faded and then I'm going to go in with the MAC Cosmetics um, soft ochre paint pot and I'm just using that to clean the crease and make it neater and also apply some product on my crease in order to make the eyeshadow that I'm going to use pop and so you just want to blend that in and make it as consistent as possible because it can get a bit sticky on the lid and then I'm going to go in with this gorgeous gold color in 1987 it's so so pretty and I'm using a smaller uh, brush and then um, a big eyeshadow brush to apply the rest and you want to use a detailed brush when you're working along the crease and then I'm just going to use a wet wipe to create that sharp wing at the end and then I'm going to go in with another inexpensive um, eyeliner color from Makeup Academy and I'm applying that color in my waterline and lower lash line and then I'm just going to apply my wing and I'm using the Maybelline Cosmetics um, Gel Liner, the black one. It's so, so good, very inexpensive, very black and really easy to work with. And then I'm going to go back into the palette and use Danger. And I'm just going to pop that on my lower lash line and blend out the eye pencil that I used. Most of the brushes I use for this look are either BH Cosmetics, uh, La Page Trends, or um, they're really, really super inexpensive brushes. And then I'm applying my mascara from Maybelline. And it's so good because the tip of the mascara really works really well with the lower lash line. So I absolutely love that. And then I'm applying my favorite lashes of all time and it's the Le Page Trends Rosy Lashes. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know I absolutely adore these lashes. And then I'm just applying my blush from Urban Decay. And of course, I love this um, Diamond Glow Powder from Artist Couture in Le Bronze. I'm so sorry you can't get it anymore. It was a limited edition collection. But it's such a beautiful rose gold girly um, highlight and I absolutely love it. You want to blind your date um, for this tutorial so you want to make sure you're popping in all the right places. So this highlighter will get you there, I promise. And then for my lips, I'm just applying a brown lip pencil from MAC in Chestnut. And then I'm going to go in with two lipsticks from Urban Decay. They're the Comfort Matte Finishes and I'm going to apply Hitchhike first which I believe is like a, it's like a darker nude kind of colour. It's just a really really weird nude colour and I love it. And then just to make it pop a little bit of the centre I'm going to apply Back Top which is like a pinkier nude and that just sets the lips on fire. <laughs> make them kissable and huggable and everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you enjoy your Valentine's Day do everything I would um, and everything I wouldn't <laughs> and have fun guys thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next tutorial bye bye